The art project we're creating today is the Otter Collage. We are going to learn about how to collage. We're going to be cutting and painting and gluing paper together to create this little cute otter. I hope you enjoy it. Our learning goal for this lesson is I can create a work of art using the collage technique. Collage is art that is made by cutting up materials such as colored paper, string, fabric, newspapers, and other items, and then gluing them together to form a picture. So when you collage, there's going to be a lot of cutting, there's going to be a lot of gluing, and once you're finished, you have a beautiful piece of art. The materials that we'll be using today are colored paper or construction paper. Um, colored paper, for instance, I'm going to be painting my own paper to use for this project. I'm also gonna be using colored construction paper. If you don't have paint to paint paper or if you don't have colored construction paper, you can always take a blank white piece of paper and either use markers, crayons, or colored pencils to fill in the paper to make the paper colorful. I'm also going to use pencil. I'm going to be using scissors, liquid glue or glue stick, either one works. And then some optional supplies for you today are crayons, colored pencils, markers, and watercolor paints. I will be using some of those to add some detail as well. So get the supplies you need and let's get started. So to begin, I'm going to paint my own paper for this project. I want to paint some brown paper for the otter that we're going to be creating the collage with. And I'm also going to paint a piece of paper for the background and our otter is in water. So we're gonna be using blue for that paper. For the otter paper, I'm actually going to take a brown crayon first and add some texture to my paper. Then I'm going to paint over it in brown paint. I'm gonna be using watercolor paint for this part. For the ocean background, I am gonna add some wave lines using some blue crayons and some green crayons. And then I'm going to paint over the background with blue paint. I'm gonna speed this up so you guys can see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna to begin to create the otter for our collage. So I brought back the brown paper that I created the texture and painted it in different shades of brown. You may be using brown construction paper, that was one option, or a white paper that you colored using crayons and colored pencils. So grab your brown paper, we're going to flip it over, and we're gonna draw on the back. The reason why we do this is because if we make a mistake drawing, the lines will show up on the back, so then we can flip it over and use the nice side. Now, for the head of the otter, I found a bowl in my kitchen that I could trace. This is optional. You might decide to draw your own. It's up to you. I'm gonna turn my paper portrait style, and I'm gonna take my bowl, and I wanna leave some space for all the pieces. So I'm gonna put this pretty high up and I'm not putting it right in the middle. I'm gonna cut it out so it doesn't really matter where it is. And I am going to trace the bowl. And there I have the head that I need. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do on this circle is I'm going to add two half circles for the ears. And I wanna go ahead and do that kind of first because I am gonna cut that out with the head. 
Do the same thing over on the other side. Make two, try to make them look the same. Now for the body of the otter, I am going to create an oval. So I need a little bit of space. So I'm gonna turn my paper back this way and I am just gonna really carefully and really lightly kind of sketch an oval. It does not need to be perfect. We kind of want it to be um, a little bit imperfect so we can make it have a little bit of character. The next steps, we're going to create the paws. Now the paws are pretty simple. I am just going to use the space that I have left and I'm going to create four ovals. I'm going to create two larger ones and I want to try to make them the same size. And then I'm going to create two smaller ones, not much smaller. So, so far I have the head, which I drew the ears on. I have the body, which is a large oval, and then I have four ovals for the paws. Now, the last thing is going to be the tail. Now, for the tail, you kind of have to find some space wherever you have any space left over, and we're gonna create it with the space that we have left. So I have a little bit kind of right in between here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to design a curve line and your tail can be a little bit different. You can always change it and make it your own. And then I'm going to make it kind of thick and curve back this way. So now I have a tail. These are all the pieces that we need so far. So the next step, we are going to cut these pieces out. So you can go ahead, get your scissors and start cutting all the pieces out. Try not to lose them, keep them in a pile. I'm gonna do this quickly so you guys can get to the next step a little bit faster. Okay, so now I have my pieces cut out. I am going to move the face, the tail, and the arms and legs off to the side for a minute because I'm going to take a piece of white paper that I have here. I kind of painted a little bit of peach on it just to make it not quite so white. And I'm gonna flip this over. We're gonna do two things with this paper. We're going to create the cheeks for the face and the inside of the belly. So what I wanna do first, I'm gonna take the belly that I started with and I'm going to trace this with pencil. And then what I wanna do is I want to design the belly, um, kind of like the inside part of the belly, which would be another circle inside a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna take what I already have and I'm just gonna add the inside shape. And this is the shape that I will be cutting out right here. The other thing I'm gonna do with this paper I am going to take a paper towel roll and I'm going to trace two. This is gonna be for the cheeks. Once you have it traced, it is time to cut those out. Okay, now I have all of the parts of the otter cut out. I'm going to start gluing them together. The first thing that I want to do is I want to take my liquid glue. If you're using a glue stick, that works fine too. I'm gonna glue on the belly right in here for the inside of the furry belly there. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna add just a thin line of glue right around the edge and a teeny bit in the middle. And I am going to put this on top. I would hold it down for a few seconds, make sure that it really stays on there. Okay, the next step, I'm actually going to glue the cheeks onto the face. Now remember, it doesn't have a nose or eyes yet, so it's gonna look a little funny right now, but we're basically just gonna put these two and I kind of want them to overlap the edge just a little, so. Once again, turn it over, put a little bit of glue, hold that down. Same thing on this side, a little bit of glue. Okay. 
and I do want them to kind of touch in the middle. We're gonna add a nose later, and I wanna make sure that's really stuck on there. Then we are going to take the head and we are going to overlap the head onto the belly here. So I really only need to put glue on the bottom half. So I'm gonna look back here, just add some glue on the bottom half of the otter. And then I want to overlap it, leaving a little bit of space for the arms. I'm going to hold that down. This time I want to hold it down for a little bit longer, make sure it really sticks. Okay, so we get it, we're getting our body of the otter there. Now, for the arms and legs, what I like to do is I kind of test out where I want them to be and how they're going to look. So I'm going to take the legs and the feet, I want to kind of put on top but if you notice they don't show up very well so what you can do if you want them to show up a little bit better is you can take a black crayon and what i like to do is on all of my pieces i have so far i'm just going to draw an outline so you can really see them i also at this point like to add the little paw prints Doing that, I just do a few circles. I'm also gonna do that on my other foot over here. Same thing. Make an outline for it. The big circle for the foot. And I just do three little ones for the toes. Now, at this point, if you like that look, because this does make them stand out a little bit better, you can also take the shape of the body. So I could even draw a line around the belly, which will make it stand out from the background too. And I'm going to do the same thing on the furry part of the head. This way it creates a nice outline for my shape so it will show up better later. Now, the final thing that I want to do before I glue on the arms and legs, I am also going to outline the arms. So for this, I'm just going to outline the oval shape. And at this time, I'm just gonna draw some little paw lines like that. Okay, now once I have that finished, I can kind of decide where I want to put these feet. So I'm gonna have them, I think, kind of laying like this. And then for the paws, I'm gonna have them sitting kind of across the tummy. Now, the last thing I'm gonna glue on after I glue these things on is the tail. Now for the tail, I'm gonna do the same thing. I am gonna outline it. So after you get your arms and legs kind of glued in place, and you don't need a whole lot of glue, just a little bit goes a long way. As long as you kind of get the edges, it's really important. Okay, notice they're kind of popping up because I didn't put enough pressure on. I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. Now for the tail, I am going to take it and I am going to outline the tail. This time I do add a little bit of a jagged line to make it look furry. I'm not gonna worry about doing this because that's where I'm gonna glue it. And I'm basically just gonna glue the tail right underneath. So to do that, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the top side of the tail. And that's all I really need. I'm gonna stick that under, make sure the tail's in the direction I want it to be, and I'm gonna hold that down. Okay, so now we basically have the otter shape. We just need to collage a nose and some eyes onto the otter. So I have a piece of black construction paper 
and a piece of white. I'm gonna fold a little piece of white over and I'm going to draw the shape of the eye that I want for my otter. I think I'm gonna go with an oval. And the reason why I folded this over, because now I can cut this oval out and I will have two of them. So I'm going to cut the oval out. And this is going to be for both eyes. Once I have that cut out, I'm going to check that I like that shape just by putting it onto my otter. And I think I like that, it's looking good. I'm gonna take one of my ovals, I'm going to trace it on my black paper. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm going to design the pupil. So I'm gonna draw that. Once I have it the way that I like, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold the paper in half and I'm going to cut out the circle or oval for the pupil. By folding it over, I again can cut out two at one time. If you struggle with cutting both out at the same time, you can do one at a time, that works too. Okay, so now I have the two pupils and the eyes. I'm going to glue on the pupil to the white eye, just like that. And then I'm gonna glue the eyes onto the otter. I'm using liquid glue, but once again, you guys can use a glue stick if that's what you have. It, it both works, so that will work as well. Same thing here. Liquid glue. And stick that on. Now, before I glue on the eyes, I don't just stick glue on it and put it on because what if I don't like where I put the eyes? So I kinda wanna test it out. I wanna see where I think the eyes are going to look the best. And I believe they're gonna look the best right here, but I don't have a nose yet. So I think if I get my nose on first, I'll be able to tell where I really want those eyes to be. Now I'm gonna use some more of this black construction paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw the nose. I'm going to make an oval nose, and I kind of want it to be kind of big. We'll see if that's the right size once I cut it out. And once again, we're cutting, and we're gonna glue some more, so a little bit more collage going on here. Now, I don't like to use the side where I can see my pencil line, so I flip that over. I'm gonna be using this side, and I'm gonna put my nose right there. And I think that's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. Now, since I have a few pieces glued together here, I'm gonna to wanna to hold the eyes on for a little bit longer, make sure they really stick. So once I get them set in place, I'm gonna make sure that I hold it down and maybe count to 30 slowly. I'm gonna get the eyes and last the nose. Set that right on top. Okay, hold that down, make sure it sticks. So from here, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is the background. We're gonna be adding the otter onto the blue paper that we painted all the way at the beginning, and we're gonna be adding some seagrass as well. So let's get on to the next step. Okay, so the final steps for our otter collage is to glue the otter down to our background, which we created earlier, the blue and green piece of paper that we painted, or you colored. And you're gonna take the otter that we just got finished collaging together, and you're gonna decide how you want him to lay on the paper. Um, I kinda like to make him hang off a little bit for this project and put him on a diagonal, but you could put him kinda any way you really want. I could also put him this way. So what you're gonna do is decide where you want him and I'm gonna glue him on first. So I'm gonna flip him over in the spot where I want him. And I'm gonna add a thin line of glue around the edges. Now I know the tail's gonna hang off a little bit so I'm not putting some at the bottom of the tail. And I know that our, one of our ears is gonna hang off as well. Put a little bit in the middle. I'm gonna flip this over, make sure he's in the right spot and I'm going to set him down. And this time I want to hold it with both hands, make sure that I'm really getting this stuck on. 
I may have to move my hands around a little bit to make sure that everything gets stuck on because I don't want him falling off of his background here. So now our otter is swimming in the water. We are going to take some green construction paper and I have some light green or yellow green construction paper and some dark green. I am going to cut some grass out of the paper to create some grass in the background, add some more texture to our collage. I'm gonna speed this up so you guys can see this quickly. Okay, so to finish the otter collage off, what we're going to do is use some of that seagrass that I just cut, and we're going to lay it on the paper in an arrangement that we like. So I think I wanna add some up here. So I'm gonna take some of the light green, some of the dark green, and kind of decide where I want this to go. I might overlap a few. And I think I also wanna put some down here. There's kind of an empty spot here at the bottom. Now, as I'm placing this, I'm really thinking about what I want it to look like. And I'm not worried about if they're too long. I'm not trimming them yet. I can always trim it later. It's more about what colors I want to use and how I want it to look. Okay, once I'm kind of happy with it, I am going to take my glue and I'm going to go ahead and stick those on. So once again, remember, collage is a lot of cutting and gluing. For this portion, it's really good to overlap a little bit to make it look a little bit more realistic. And you can always add more. So I start kind of small and then once I'm finished, if I want to put more in place, I can. So I always cut a little bit more than what I think I'm going to use. And I don't use a lot of glue. This step I use very little. I just do like one little line of glue on there. And I think I am going to use a little bit more here. and then I'm gonna put the few up here. Notice I'm leaving that overhanging because I'm just gonna trim it off later. Now, if you want to add anything extra to this, feel free to do that. Sometimes I decide to add something in the otter's paws. You can make a little um, starfish. You can make a shell or a fish to go in there. Um, you can use your imagination. You also could think about adding more to the background. Like maybe you could cut out a little dragonfly on top of the water or a little frog or lily pads. That's another idea as well. So once you're happy with the way your seagrass looks, you are going to cut the extra pieces off. So the easiest way to do that is just to flip your paper over and now you can kind of see where it is and you're just gonna kind of trim the grass. And then these pieces you don't need anymore. Do the same thing over here on the side. And flip it back over and there is our finished otter collage. I hope you had a lot of fun with this project. I know I did.